Hey guys, this video is being shot in 360, so if you're on a computer on YouTube, this should work. If you're on your phone, you need to use the YouTube app. If you use Safari or Chrome, it just looks weird, so make sure you jump onto YouTube app or a computer. My name is Sean Simons, and I am learning to fly a paramotor. And I've been practicing kiting, and this is uh, Ozone Roadster 3. And I just did my first kite, and I realized over there, because of all the trees around, there's some rotor, and uh, wasn't able to keep the wing up for that 360 video. Um, I want to do a good 360 video for y'all, and this is hopefully going to be it. There's like no wind. If you look over over there at the flagpole, there's like no wind at all. My dog's in the car. I guess the air conditioner going. And uh, he wants to come out and play, but right now the heat index is 110. So what I'm trying to do is Kite a little bit, go into the car, kite a little bit, go back into the car. All right, let's see. Oops. I totally forgot to bring my, my stand for this 360. And if this doesn't work, then you won't see this. So I got some tangles over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this out with the A's on the outside. There we go. And I'm going to try to fix this wing. When I first started doing uh, or, or practicing kiting a wing, I would not take the time to lay out the wing properly. I didn't understand. The importance of laying out this wing properly, um, I do now. So that's only months of trying to figure out how to kite an old wing. And I was kiting an old wing before this one. This is brand new, right out of the box. And if you saw that video, you saw I was so excited. I tried it on pavement. And I got a lot of flack for that. It's like, yeah, great new wing. No, dump it on hot asphalt. So, needless to say, I don't kite on asphalt no more, or dirt, or roads. That would be just silly. So another thing I do also once I lay it out, I just make sure all my lines, my lines are not tangled. I didn't take time before to do that. And every forward inflation that I did, or reverse inflation, it just, it was, it was ugly, it didn't work right, it was just like, wow, I got a, I got some in now, wow, where'd that come from, nowhere, I checked Wendy and said, four, or two of gusts, but, it just kind of feels more than four, where'd that come from, that's another thing that I'm learning too, is wind, and I'm learning, you know, what is, if it's not kiteable, it definitely is not flyable. So I'm not an instructor. I'm not trying to, to instruct. This is, this is what I've learned so far. Like I said, I haven't even flown yet. All right, I feel a little bit of a wind. I wonder if I can reverse. Probably could. I'm going to try to reverse launch. Reverse inflation. I don't know how difficult it would be with holding this camera, but we're going to find out, won't we? We're definitely going to find out. And if the wind doesn't keep on going, we'll have to turn this around and do a forward inflation. This might just be a, an anomaly. Alright, everything straight, everything straight. Clear to pulley, clear to pulley. Now I'm going to walk 
downwards, and the A's should pop up. Boom. There are the A's right here. I'm not sure how this is going to work with the stick, but hey! fun. That was really fun with the camera. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Tell me what you think I did wrong in the comments down below. We'll see you soon.